Hello, everybody. Oh, you know what? I have to laugh. I have to laugh in a way. Um, I got to get something said real quick. This has been some day. It's been a, it's been a beautiful day. Resurrection of of our Lord and Savior. I was just watching one of your replays. Really? Oh my. Resurrection Day. April Fools. Nobody believed we were going to get any snow. And snow. We're supposed to get two to five inches of snow. All on, on Resurrection and Street Outreach Show. Well, hello. I'm Pastor Reverend Gloria. And I want to show you my cross again. This is who and what I am all about. My Lord and my Savior, Jesus Christ. On this day. Thank you for inviting followers, Rebecca. But you know what? I had a wonderful day. I had a wonderful day, and the old devil tried to ruin it for me. Didn't work. Didn't work because I still got on here anyway. I'll tell you. I'll tell you all a little something. Just welcome people coming in because I, I want to tell you something. I, I went on a, a, a YouTube video earlier. It's he. has been at it since. Been at it since Friday. That's right. Uh, outreach and invited followers. Well, thank you. Thank you for inviting followers. But anyway, I was watching a second trying to get to people. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. I got on. A, I was watching a YouTube video earlier about is Easter a pagan holiday? Now, get this. I made one comment on there. You know, I said Easter is not about Jesus. You know, and I said a few more. I said a little bit more. I said it's not about Easter, Easter eggs, candy, and all that. I said it's about it's about the resurrection of our Lord and Savior. Well, anyway, some people come back at me, and one person said I should repent for for proclaiming to be a reverend, pastor, etc., giving me backlash when I made the comment, one comment about Easter. Well, hello, Vera. Hello. Yes. I should repent for proclaiming to be a reverend minister or a bishop or whatever. I said, I think you better go back and read your Bibles because I said, male or female, you've got to read the Bible. You know, um, be right back. Okay, okay, Elisha. Elisha May. But, but yeah, I mean, there's other things that happened too, but I'm not going to go into any of that. But good evening, Vera. Hello, hello, Sister Vera. I'm glad that you joined. I was just tell, telling a little story about what happened. I had a wonderful day today. The Lord even gave me snow on Easter, on on Resurrection Day. He even gave me gave me snow, you know. And I had a wonderful, wonderful day. Wonderful day. My cold is almost gone. Praise God, Hallelujah. I'm feeling a hundred percent better. And I knew I was going to get on here uh, sometime this evening, you know. I knew I was going to jump on here. Blessings, everyone. Yes, blessings, blessings. Blessings to you, too, uh, Street Outreach. Yes. But, yeah, I got, I got on this YouTube video to make, a, to make one comment. Thank you, Rebecca. To make one comment about, about Easter. Glad you're feeling better. Well, thank you. I am, too. It, it, it was a pretty bad cold. What state do you live in? I'm in Illinois, honey, the south-central part of Illinois. You have a right to free speech. Yes, I do. And I just made one little comment because the title of the video was Is Easter a Pagan Holiday? Teresa Johnson 3. Well, hello. I'm Pastor Gloria. Welcome to my scope. God bless you. He says, Blessings. Yes, blessings to you. I, lo I love your videos. I love your videos. And yes, I've got a little bit of purple and rose in my hair, just a little bit. Because <clears throat> purple is royalty, and it represents my Lord and my Savior, Jesus Christ. And uh, but anyway, um, I'll drop that subject now. But the devil, what was meant for my harm today, turned turned out to be a, a wonderful day. Anyway, I love purple. Me too. And I've even had my all my hair purple. It wasn't about me. It wasn't to glorify me. It was to glorify my Lord and Savior. To God be the glory. I love color. You go, girl. <laughs> Thank you. Amen. It's a pagan. Yeah. I mean. Well, hello, uh, E. Diaz. Hello, um, Edwin. I'm glad that you joined. Um, you, you guys can go back and watch watch the replay too about fertility, right? Yeah, the Eastern goddess, Ishtar. 
Ishtar, the Eastern Goddess. And that's why I don't say Easter anymore. And I just made that one little comment on there, and then everybody come back at me. Well, you should you should repent because you caught you claim to be a reverend pastor. So many people, you're welcome, honey. So many people are still on that thing where women are not supposed to preach. Women are supposed to keep silent in the church, and that is not true. That is not true. The Lord is calling men as well as women nowadays. The Roman God was of fertility. Yes. But anyway, and Pastor Dave Waller was joined. Well, hello, Pastor Dave. This has been an eventful, event, eventful day. I'm doing a lot better. I feel a whole lot better. And what the what the devil meant for my harm turned out to, to be a good to be good anyway. So I give God all the honor and the glory and the praise. Amen. It's pagan. Yes, it is. And I just made one again. I just made one little comment on a video, Pastor Dave. Uh, is Easter a pagan holiday? Is it pagan? And I made one little comment, and so then they came back at me that I should repent for claiming to be a reverend, pastor, blah, 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 you know. And I just said, well, I said, uh, you need to go back and read your Bible. I said, because God is calling women as well as men. And then I dropped it. I thought, like, really? Yes, yes. I am a minister of the Lord, and I'm proud of it. I am proud of it, you know. And God, God is calling women now. He's calling women now, you know, and... But like I say, the old devil tried to ruin my day. God ordained who he wants. Exactly, who he wants to. They need to be repent because of ignorance is bliss. Yes, girl, everyone has to repent. Exactly, exactly. I tell you. People, I mean, oh my. But anyway, I, like I was saying, um, the, the good Lord, he's wonderful. I mean, April Fool, never mind the April Fool's thing. Nobody believed that we were going to get any snow, Pastor Dave. And we were supposed to get two to five inches of snow. God didn't call women. Wouldn't nobody be in the church laugh out loud? Exactly. All the time. Exactly. But nobody believed it because it's April Fool's Day and <laughs> Resurrection Day. And then we were supposed to get to, supposed to get two to five inches of snow. And uh, I had to laugh. And then I got on that. I, I watched this one uh, video on YouTube about... Is Easter a pagan holiday? His work must be done regardless of who it is. Exactly, Teresha. I want to say your name right, honey. But anyway, I had to laugh. I, I, I had to laugh. And Dana D joined. Well, hello, Dana. Hello. I'm glad you joined. Oh, yes, yes. So how are you doing tonight, sweetheart? This has been a pretty good day for me. I've, I've been battling a really, ba really bad cold. You can call me. You can call me. Thank you. Ty. Ty? How are you? I'm a lot better, Dana. My cold is a lot better. God's chosen vessel, 175, John. Well, hello. I'm Pastor Gloria. Welcome to my scope. But I am proud to call myself a minister of the Lord. I know I have had a cough and sinus drainage. Yes, I had a real bad sinus infection. I got back on my greens. Yes, call me for short. Okay, I will. Thank you for joining my scope. Hello, well, hello, hello, God's chosen vessel. I'm glad that you joined. Teresa, hello. Pam Gladden's joined. Well, hello, sweet, sweetheart. I'm glad you joined. Good to see you. Good to see you too, Teresa. Pam's in the house. Yes, and Pastor Dave. Pastor David Walters is in the house too. Yes. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. This is the day that the Lord hath made. Let us all rejoice and be glad. Resurrection Day. Jesus lives. Mixture of Babylonian and religious rituals. That is why I call it Resurrection Sunday. Yes. Yes. Exactly. Exactly. But I wanted to get on here for a little bit. Easter is pagan, and if your feelings get hurt, oh well. Yeah, that's what I basically said. You know, I, I don't connect. Easter is, is not about the Lord. Hello, woman of God. Love you. Yes. Speak the truth. That's what you do. We don't sugarcoat. I thought of that scripture and heard you say it when I thought when I thought of it. And Donnell Lynch joined. Well, hello. Today is a day that the Lord has made. Yes, let us all rejoice and be glad. And especially today because he is risen. He lives. He lives. Yes, he does. And like I said, I knew I was going to get on here tonight. And like I said, I had to laugh. <clears throat> I had to laugh. It wasn't funny, but I had to laugh. We must cry aloud and spare not be encouraged. Exactly. Exactly. You know, and... Um, we are called 
My name is Yolanda. Well, hello, Yolanda. Hello, I'm glad that you joined. Um, but, you know, we have to encourage one another. And I've said this lots of times, too, that he is. And I've said this lots of times. You know, we have to love one another, encourage one another, lift one another up, pray for one another. And there's going to be naysayers. There's going to be naysayers. Lisa Gimber joined. Well, hello. Hello again. Well, hello, I'm Pastor Gloria. And they're going to persecute us. They're going to mock us. They're going to put us down. It's to be expected. It only means we're doing something right. Something right. And, and I will not um, compromise my, my Lord and my, what my God's Word says for nobody. For nothing. For nothing. And I've said this too. Uh, I'm not perfect. I've never claimed to be perfect. There's nobody perfect on this earth. Nobody is perfect except Jesus. Defend your position like Pam said. Yes. People try to tell God what to do. Yes. Yes. Exactly. Exactly. And so, but like I said, I knew I wanted to get on here for a little while at least um, to wish, welcome everybody, say hello to everybody. Wish everybody a happy, happy resurrection day. And again, this is the day that the Lord hath made. Let us all rejoice and be glad in it. And what the devil meant for my harm today it backfired. It backfired because it didn't it didn't work. It's okay, we got your back. Thank you, Ty. Thank you. God's chosen vessels joined again. Am I freezing up or anything lagging or anything? Tell the truth and shame the devil. Exactly. Tell the truth and shame the devil. No. Good. Good. And um <clears throat> you're good. Thank you. Thank you for scoping. Well I knew I was gonna get on it, miss. I'm looking Past you join. Well, hello. Hello. I'm, I'm Pastor Gloria. Welcome to my scope. God bless you. I hope that you, you you've had a blessed day today. Like I said, my day my day was wonderful. Even though it was April Fool's Day, Resurrection Day number one. April Fool's Day. And we got snow, which people did believe it was gonna happen, but we got snow. Margo, hello, 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 sweetheart. Margo Smith joined. Glad that you joined. I'm just getting over a cold. I had a really bad sinus infection. But the, through the good Lord and through my greens and, and lots of prayers, I'm back almost 100%. Hey, happy Easter. Hello, Margo. Happy, happy Resurrection Day. Happy Resurrection Day. I was just telling everybody, Margo, that it was April Fool's Day. Nobody believed we was going to get any snow. Resurrection Day, too. And the, the good Lord gave me some snow. I'm getting over a sinus infection also. Yeah, it, it, I just, it was horrible. I'm still putting stuff on my nose, you know, to try to clear it up. Um, but all in all, I've had a, I've had a pretty good day. I've had a, I've had a wonderful day in the Lord, and um, we just can't let things get us down. Pe people are going to attack us. I'm going to go now. I'll catch the replay. Continue to be, be beautiful and strong in the door. Well, thank you. I'm so glad you joined, uh, uh, Sister Johnson. I'm glad you joined. Sickness and the flu are really getting per people this year. Yes, I know. I know. Well, thank you. I'm looking past you for, for following her uh, inviting followers. Thank you. The hair looks beautiful. Well, thank you, Margo. Well, yeah, it's a little bit of rose and purple. A little bit of rose and purple. Just a little bit. I love you. Love you, too. Love you. Oh, yeah. I love her, too. She's very sweet. She's very sweet. And I've watched a few of her scopes. Well, I've watched a few of her scopes. And uh, so, but anyway, um, I thought I would read John chapter 14. I believe it's John chapter 14. Thought I would read that, being that today is Resurrection Day. Thought I'd read John chapter 14, if you guys don't mind. I'm going to read John chapter 14. My body, I should have had it already, but that's okay. Now, this is my new Bible. This is my new Bible. It's the Holman Christian Standard Bible. It can be referenced to the KJV. It's a beautiful Bible. It is a beautiful Bible. Beautiful. Yes. I, I love it. The Holman Christian Standard Bible. It is just, it's even thicker. And it explains very nice. Yes, Margo. Yes. I love it. It's in giant, it's in giant print. I love it. It's in, it's indented. I love it. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. I love it. 
I think I said John chapter 14. I'm trying to get me a new one. Yeah, it was just, it was just $20. John chapter 14. Chapter 14. Close 100, John. Well, hello. I'm glad that you joined. I'm Pastor uh, Gloria. Welcome to my scope. God bless you. I'm in my I'm in my bedtime attire tonight because I've been ill, but I'm a lot better. All right, now this now like I said, this is the Holman Christian Standard Bible. You can reference it to the KJV. I love the KJV. I've always read the KJV, and, but this explains it. This explains it so much better. It really explains. So I'm going to read chapter 14, okay, of of John. You know, Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, John, the way to the father. I'm going to read this. I'm going to read this, this, this chapter. Okay. Let's do the Lord's prayer first. Lord's prayer. Our father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen and amen. And they all said amen. <clears throat> welcome everybody. <coughs> Hope I don't get to coughing. Just welcome everybody as I read this. The way to the Father. This is John chapter 14. Amen, Margot. Yes. John chapter 14. All right, here we go. Now remember, this is the Christian standard, the Holman Christian standard Bible. It's beautiful. It's worded. <clears throat> oh, it, it's just, I love it. I love it. All right, here we go. Chapter or 14, chapter 1. Or chapter 14 of, of John. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Your heart must not be troubled. Believe in God. Believe also in me. In my Father's house are many dwellings dwelling places if not i would have told you i'm going away to prepare a place for you if i go away and prepare a place for you i will come back and receive you to myself so that where i am you may be also praise the lord you know the way to where i am going lord thomas said we don't know where you're going how can we know the way forwards well, hello, welcome to my scope. I'm reading out of John chapter 14. Wow. Jesus told him, you know, doubting Thomas, doubting Thomas. Jesus told him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Jesus reveals the Father. It, it, it's, it even has titles, titles to the verses. I love it. If you know me, you will also know my Father. From now on, you do, you do know him and have seen him. Lord said, Philip, show us the Father, and that's enough for us. Jesus said, it, said to him, Have I been among you all this time without you, your knowing me, Philip? The one who has seen me has seen the Father. How can you say, show us the Father? Don't you believe that I am in the Father and the Father is in me? Well, the, the words I speak to you, I do not speak on my own. The Father who lives in me does his works. Believe me that I am in the Father and the Father is in me. Otherwise, believe because of the works themselves. Yet praying in Jesus' name, praying in Jesus' name. I assure you, the one who believes in me will also do the works that I do. And he will do even greater works than these because I am going to the Father. Whatever you ask in my name, I will do it so that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If you ask me anything in my name, I will do it. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. If you love me, you will keep my commands. Now, this is translated from the Greek. Translated from the Greek. If you love me, you will keep my commands. And I will ask the Father and he will give you another counselor to be with you forever. He is the spirit of truth. The world is unable to receive him because, because it doesn't see him or know him. But you do know him because he remains with you and will be in you. I will not leave you as orphans. I am coming to you. Meaning, meaning the comforter. The comforter. 
said he, if he, he goes away, he will send his comforter. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Verse 19. In a little while, the world will see me no longer, but you will see me because I live. You will live too. In that day, you will know that I am in my Father. You are in me, and I am in you. The one who has my commands and keeps them is the one who loves me. And the one who loves me will be loved by my Father. I also will love him and will reveal myself to him. Judas, not Iscariot, said to him, Lord, how is it you're going to reveal yourself to us and not to the world? Jesus answered, We'll do, we'll do it. We'll enjoy. Well, hello, I'm Pastor Gloria. Welcome to my scope. I'm reading uh, out of John chapter 14. John chapter 14. Okay. <clears throat> Verse 23. Jesus answered, If anyone loves me, he will keep my word. My Father will love him, and we will come to him and make our home with him, or make our abode with him. The one who doesn't love me will not keep my words. The word that you hear is not mine, but it is from the Father who sent me. Who sent me. Praise the Lord. I have spoken these things to you while I remain with you. But the Counselor, the Holy Spirit, the Father will send him in my name will teach you all things and remind you of everything I have told you. Jesus, gift of peace. Verse 27. I love this. I love this. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give to you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Your heart must not be troubled or fearful. You have heard me tell you I am going away and I am coming to you. If you loved me, you would have re rejoiced that I am going to the Father. Because the Father is greater than I. I have told you now before it happens. So that when it does happen you may believe. I will not talk with you much longer. Because the ruler of the world is coming. He has no power over me. On the contrary. I am going away so that the world may know that I love the Father. Just as the Father commanded me. So, so I do. Get up. Let's leave this place. Wow. I love it. I love it. Well, I just felt that I wanted to read John chapter 14. <clears throat> wow. I love to get in. I love to get in God's word, especially now since I've got this one here. Since I've got this one. The Christian, the Holman Christian Standard Bible. Wow. I love reading it. I love reading it. Let's see. Mixed boy. Well, hello. Well, welcome everybody. Let's see. All right, hang on just a second here. Just a second. These pages are even easy. They're easier to turn too. They're easier to turn. Trying to find this. Chap Luke chapter 6. Luke chapter 6. Make sure I get to the right to the right page. I love when the Lord says, Let your heart not be troubled. Yes, yes. Alright. We're going to read Luke chapter 6. Okay? Luke chapter 6. All right, Lord of the Sabbath, Lord of the Sabbath. We're going to read. We're going to read, read Luke, Luke chapter six. On a Sabbath, he passed through the grain fields. His disciples were picking heads of grain, rubbing them in their hands and eating them. But some of the Pharisees said, "Why are you doing what is not lawful on the Sabbath?" Jesus answered them, "Haven't you read what David and those who were with him did when he was hungry? How he entered the house of God and took and ate the sacred bread." which is not lawful for any but the priest to eat. He even gave some to those who were with him. Then he told them, The Son of Man is Lord of the Sabbath. The Son of Man is Lord of the Sabbath. Did you know that Jesus is the Sabbath? Jesus is the Sabbath. Daughter of the King. Well, hello, I'm Pastor Gloria. Welcome to my scope. God bless you. 
Then he told them, The Son of Man is Lord of the Sabbath. Amen. Amen. That speaks volumes. It speaks volumes. The man with the paralyzed hand. Okay. Verse 6. Now, the Lord, the, I'm letting the Lord lead me as to what to read. Blessings to you. Well, thank you. Do, blessings to you too, daughter of the king. Yes, I like that title. I like that. Blessings to you. Okay, verse number 6 of Luke chapter 6. On another Sabbath, he entered the synagogue and was teaching. A man was there whose right hand was paralyzed. The scribes and Pharisees were watching him closely to see if he would heal on the Sabbath so that they could find a charge against him. But he knew, he knew their thoughts and told the man with the paralyzed hand, Get up and stand here. So he got up and stood there. Now I'm reading out of the Holman Christian Standard. The Holman, it can be referenced with the KJV. I love it. I've always loved the KJV, but this, this goes in more detail and it explains. Then Jesus said to them, I, at, I ask you, is it lawful on the Sabbath to do what is good or to do what is evil, to save life or to destroy it? Well, welcome to my welcome to my scope. I'm Pastor Gloria, and God bless you. I'm reading out of Luke chapter six, verse number ten. Hello, welcome to my scope. Welcome everybody. You can welcome everybody while I'm trying to read. Verse ten. After looking around at them all, he told him, "Stretch out your hand." He did so, and his hand was restored. They, however, however, were filled with rage and started discussing with one another what they might do to Jesus. The twelve apostles. <clears throat> During those days, he went out to the mountain to pray and spent all night in prayer to God. When daylight came, he summoned his disciples, and he chose 12 of them. He also named them apostles. Is there a fighting I'm going to help? Oh, okay. I didn't, I didn't catch all that. Simon, who is Simon, who he also named Peter, and Andrew, his brother, James and John, Philip and Bartholomew, Matthew and Thomas, James, the son of Alphaeus, Alpheus, some of these I can't pronounce, so please forgive me. And Simon called Zealot, Judas the son of James, and Judas Iscariot, who became a traitor. As we know, he betrayed Jesus. Teaching and healing. After coming down with them, he stood on a level place with a large crowd of his disciples and a great number of people from all Judea and Jerusalem and from the sea coast of Tyre and Sidon. They came to hear him him and to be healed of their diseases and those tormented by unclean spirits were made well the whole crowd was trying to touch him because power was coming out from him and healing them all the beautitudes the beautitudes then looking up at his disciples he said i love this you guys i love this you who are poor are blessed because the kingdom of god is yours you who are now hungry are blessed because you will be filled. Thank you for the beautiful hearts. Hearts for Jesus. You who now weep are blessed because you will laugh. You are blessed when people hate you. When they exclude you, insult you, and slander your name as evil. Because of the Son of Man. 23. Rejoice in that day and leap for joy. Take note, your reward is great in heaven. For this is the way their ancestors used to treat the prophets. We will be persecuted, laughed at, mocked, even killed if, if, we, love, if we proclaim Jesus. And I've said this before and I, and I will always say it. I'm not afraid to die. I would lay down my life. For my Lord and my Savior. Many have and many will. Many will. I would give. I would lay down my life for my for my Lord. People said, yeah, well, you don't know what you'd do if you were put in that. Yeah, I do. I already know. I'd glad to lay, lay my life down for, for my Lord. Yes, I would. Yes, I will. I hope you never have to. Well... Some of us will, Margo. Some, some of us will, Sister Hun. Some of us will. We don't know what all we're going to have to go through. We don't know. We don't know. Y'all be joined. Well, hello. I'm Pastor Gloria. Welcome to my scope. God bless you. I'm <clears throat> reading out of Luke chapter 6. All right. And we're getting ready to read, uh, Woe to the Self-Satisfied. 
uh, verse 24, But woe to you who are rich, for you have received your comfort. Woe to you who are now full, for you will be hungry. Woe to you who are now laughing, for you will mourn and weep. Woe to you when all people speak well of you, for this is the way their ancestors used to treat the false prophets. Okay, love your enemies. But I say to you who listen, who will listen, love your enemies, do what is good to those who hate you, bless those who curse you, pray for those who mistreat you. If anyone hits you on the cheek, offer the other also. And if anyone takes away your coat, don't hold back your shirt either. This is very hard to do. But that's what we are supposed to do. Love your neighbor. Bless those who, who, who curse us. 28, I'm going to read 28 again. Bless those who, who curse you. Pray for those who mistreat you. If anyone hits you on the cheek, offer the other also. And if anyone takes away your coat, don't hold back your shirt either. Give to everyone who asks you, and from one who takes your things, don't ask for them back. Just as you want others to do for you, do the same for them. Yes. And we treat others the way we would want to be treated. Do unto others. Do unto you, do unto others as you would have them do unto you. Don't treat others the way they treat you. Amen. Do unto others as you would have them do unto you. The golden rule. The golden rule. Wow, I love it. If you love those who love you, what credit is that to you? Even sinners love those who love them. If you do what is good to those who are good to you, what credit is that to you? Even sinners do that. And if you lend to those from whom you expect to receive, what credit is that to you? Even sinners lend to sinners to be repaid in full, but love your enemies. Do what is good and lend, expecting nothing in return. Hello, Anna, dear. Hello, honey. I'm glad you joined. I'm reading out of Luke chapter 6. Then your reward will be great, and you will be sons of the Most High, for He is gracious to the ungrateful and evil. Be merciful, just as your Father also is merciful. Okay, do not judge. Verse 37. Hello, hey, sweetheart, I love you. I'm a lot better. I'm a, I'm a lot better. Verse 37. Do not judge, and you will not be judged. Do not condemn, and you will not be condemned. Forgive, and you will, and you will be forgiven. Give, and it will be given to you. It, good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over will be poured into your lap. Praise God, hallelujah, yes. For with the measure you use, it will be measured back to you. He also told them in a parable, Can the blind guide the blind? Won't they both fall into a pit? A disciple is not above his teacher. But everyone who is, is fully trained will be like his teacher. Why do you look at the speck in your brother's eye, but don't notice the log in your own eye? Or how can you say to your brother, Brother, let me take out the speck that is in your eye, when you yourself don't see the log in your eye? Hypocrite! First take the log out of your eye, and then you will see clearly to take out the speck in your brother's eye. That's so very true. That's so true. Very. A true and its fruit. All right. Verse 43. A good tree doesn't produce bad fruit. On the other hand, a bad tree doesn't produce good fruit. For each tree is known by its own fruit. Figs aren't gathered from thorn bushes or grapes picked from a bramble bush. A good man produces good out of the good storeroom of his heart. An evil man produces evil out of the evil storeroom. For his mouth speaks from the overflow of the heart. The two foundations, the two foundations. 46. Why do you call me Lord, Lord, and don't do the things I say? It's a good one. Why do you call me Lord, Lord, and don't do the things I say? I will show you what someone is like who comes to me, hears my words, and acts on them. And acts on, acts on them. He is like a man building his, a house who dug deep and laid the foundation on the rock. When the flood came, the river crashed against that house and couldn't shake it because it was well built. But the one who hears and does not act is like a man who built a house on the ground without a foundation. The river crashed against it and immediately it collapsed. And the destruction of that house was great. It was great. Now I read what the Lord wanted me to read. 
tonight. I, I read what he, the Holy Spirit wanted me to read, and that's what I read. That's what I read tonight. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And what Jesus, what Jesus did over 2,000 years ago, when he gave his life on that cross, he shed that blood on his cross for all of our sins. What he went through. What he went through. But he arose. The good news is he arose. Three days later he arose. And he's sitting at the right hand of his father. In heaven. So like I said. I didn't want to be on here too awful long. I didn't want to get my, my throat acting up. I didn't want to get to coughing tonight. But I knew I wanted to get on here. Being that it was resurrection day. Thank you Jesus. Yes Anna. I'm so glad you joined honey. I love you very much. I'm, I'm, I'm a whole lot better now honey. I'm a whole lot better. So... I'm reading. You need you need to get this Bible, sweetheart. The Holman Christian Standard. You won't. Oh my! I love it. I love reading it. Yes, yes. Okay, so listen. I'm gonna go ahead and do the Lord's Prayer. I'm gonna go ahead and get off for now. All right. I don't want to overdo my throat too much tonight. So let's do the. You can go back and watch the replay, everybody. Did you did you get it at Wal in Walmart? No, Margo, honey, I I got it from the Christian Christian. Oh, Chris, somebody said it the other night. I ordered it ChristianBook.com, Christian Book. I think it's a Christian. Yeah, yeah. Um, I also got I also got a new case. I got a pretty new case for it. It's pretty. Jeremiah 17, 7. Blessed is the one who trusts in the Lord. Blessed is the one who trusts in the Lord. So pretty. Yes, it is pretty. I thank my Lord. I thank my Lord and my Savior. I thank my Lord and my Savior. Quit quit snowing. I mean. Did it quit snowing? Yeah. And Matt Martin's drawing. Well, hello, Matt. I'm just getting over a really bad cold, honey. Um... I'm gonna. Ha I, I I didn't want to make this scope very long. I love you, you and Heather. Happy Resurrection Day. So go back and watch the replay. I wanted to show you my new my new cross necklace. It didn't cost very much. It's it's nails. I love you guys. And then then the 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 uh, the crown of thorns. It's beautiful. I love the necklace. I do too. It's a, for a man or or a woman, a man or a woman. But like I said, I've been I've been ill. I'm I'm a lot better, but I didn't want to be on here too awful long. I wanted to kind of make this this one a little bit shorter. But Matt, if you haven't read the Holman Christian Standard Bible, it's wonderful. Do you know what helped my son? I put my head over boiling water. Yeah, that works too. I used Vicks. How are you doing otherwise, good spirits? Yes, I'm wonderful, Matt. I'm wonderful. I'm wonderful. I boy, I had to fight fight the dick the dickens out of this cold, but good old Vix. Good old Vix. It works wonders. Like I said, it works wonders. So anyway, you guys, I love you all. I'm gonna do the Lord I'm gonna do the Lord's Prayer one more time since Matt joined Matt, I love you and Heather and baby Jake so very much. <coughs> See, I don't want to get to so let's do the Lord's Prayer. I, I've asked the Lord just now to heal you completely. Thank you, Matt. Thank you for your prayers, honey. Thank you very much. Margo's joined again. Let's do the Lord's Prayer again, Margo. Margo, honey, I hate to ask you this again, but could you please send me your, your address again? Send me your address again, sweetheart. I didn't forget. I have not forgot. So send, please send me your address again. Okay. All right. Hello, Jackie. Hello, sweetheart. I'm going to get ready. <coughs> I'm getting ready to do the Lord's Prayer. Then I'm going to go because my throat's... I don't want to get to coughing. I am a lot better. Thank you for inviting followers, Matt. I am a lot... I'm a lot better. 95, 96%. Almost. Not 100% yet, but I'm getting there. I'm so glad you joined. I haven't seen you for quite a while, Matt. I love you so very much. So let's do the Lord's Prayer. And we'll, uh, I'll go for tonight, okay? For tonight. Pastor Gloria, happy Easter to you and God's family. Happy Easter to you too, Jackie. Happy Easter to you too. Happy, happy Resurrection Day. 
and Kathy team leader. Well, hello. I'm getting ready to go right now. I'm getting over a really, really bad sinus infection. I didn't want to be on here too awful long because I didn't want to overdo my throat and then get to coughing real bad. So go back and watch my replay. I love you all very much. Let's do the Lord's Prayer real quick and then I'm going to go. Thank you. Thank you for keeping me in your prayers. All right, let's do the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen and amen. And they all said amen. I've battled this now for about a week, but it's finally getting a lot better. Amen and amen. Jesus is coming soon, folks. Yes, he is, Matt. Yes, he is. Everybody, Matt Martin is in the house. He's in the house. So, alrighty. So, anyway, again, if you don't have the Christian, the Holman Christian Standard Bible, I urge you to get it because it is great. I love the KJV. You can reference this to the KJV, uh, Brother Matt. This explains in detail. This explains. This is translated from the Greek. From the Greek. You'll love it. You'll love it. So, all right, on that note, I love you guys. Hugs and kisses to every one of you that's joining. Go back and watch my replay, and I will be back on tomorrow sometime. I'll be back on again, okay? Happy Resurrection Day. May you all have a sweet Jesus, peaceful night. Sleep tonight. Hope you feel better. Blessings, Brother Matt. Yes. And may the, the angels surround you all as you sleep. Love, Pastor Gloria. I love you, Anna. I love you. I love you all so very much. Love you all so very much. Alrighty. I'm going to go for tonight. I'm going to rest my voice, okay? Alrighty. I love you guys. Again, kisses and hugs to each and every one of you. Bye-bye for now. Bye-bye. I love you.